with the building falling, I'm asking questions. So what was that, you know, and what they have over here? Well, the building that you see on your screen now on the ground in pieces. It was not being torn down. It fell down. But what's more important is what will soon rise from the rubble. That piece of property will become the Daria Finley Life Center. Daria Finley was four years old when she was taken from her home and killed in Orange. 12 News reporter Clagera Rhodes tonight explains how a church is using the tragedy to help future generations of kids triumph. Her death still remains one of Southeast Texas's greatest mysteries. Her unsolved homicide brought the community together 20 years ago, and now the community is gathering again, this time with a new purpose, to commemorate her life with a new life center named after her. I've never forgotten what happened to Denaria Friendly. In the city of Orange, virtually anyone who hears Denaria's name remembers the gruesome details of July 4th, 2002. She was snatched from her home during the wee hours of the night. Four days later, her body found on Pleasure Island after being raped, tortured, and murdered. Police never made an arrest in Denaria's case. But now, new members of Mount Zion Baptist Church in Orange, where Denaria's funeral was held, are coming together to build a family life center named after her. I actually noticed in the bulletins that there was a life center that you guys have been praying for. And Ramona Muhammad says her vision's puzzle pieces merged. This was the perfect opportunity. The more I learned about the church and the history. Then suddenly, the walls of the old youth center came tumbling down. Accidentally, uh, it fell off its uh, piers because the gentleman that did the foundation work made a mistake and the whole wall slipped over. The church's old youth center is also a historical building requiring a certificate of appropriateness to further demolish it. That gives permission to aesthetically change an original historical building. Mm -hmm. So Pastor C.W. So, Crawford and yeah. Ramona attended the historical it's, district yeah, meeting I'm to sure. see how the city's money and is being spent. We want, Ramona says she later. also read the Historic Preservation Commission's budget plans and noticed that there is $13 million available and possibly $5 million to be distributed. That's when she took action, seizing the opportunity. The vision, the Denaria Finley Life Center, coming to life. The idea has been in my head forever of just being able to help people and provide something for young people. Her mission, to make sure less fortunate kids have access to a safe place geared toward helping them grow mentally, spiritually, and physically. More importantly, one that is also near their own backyards. Denaria grew up across the street on 4th Street. The house she was kidnapped from, torn down. So we very much needed a spiritual guidance for the young people in this area. And since this happened just a block from here, uh, it would let the young people know that life doesn't end there and everything is for a purpose. Ramona tells me that they are asking for volunteers and donations. Her goal, to raise $750,000 for a nice facility. If you would like to help, you can send donations to this Zelle account or deposit into any Bank of America. Some of the amenities will include a bowling alley, mental health resources partnered with Spindletop, gardening, and free tutoring. Something other than video games and basketball courts. Clayton Rhodes reporting for us tonight. So head to 12newsnow.com if you'd like to get involved in this effort. We will link you to all the donation information.